It is Monday morning. It's like almost 6 20 ish, I think. I'm up having breakfast before I get off to uni today because I have a long, busy day back at uni for the first time in a while because I don't think I've been on campus fully till today. I thought I'd take you guys along with me today. Currently making my classic egg white oats like I do every morning. The funny thing is, I actually think I ran out of my egg whites, so I might have to actually crack an egg because usually I use like the bottled egg whites which is so much more convenient and easy but we're gonna see and p.s look what I have oh my god this literally feels so special in my hands if you don't know my friend Layla aka waffles with Layla collabed with my vegan to bring out her own protein powder which is so incredible if you don't know Layla is literally the biscoff queen of course her protein powder is going to be specially flavored now i know it's not out yet it's probably going to be out later on this month but she was kind enough to actually give me a pack i feel very special i know such an amazing friend and let me just say i have been a obsessed it tastes amazing it smells amazing and i already know you guys are gonna love it so you're gonna want to keep your eyes peeled for when that's out yes i mix my protein with water because it just makes it so much more smoother and silky I know my breakfast is very extravagant but then again it is my favorite part of my day so I'm gonna make it extra special I'm literally still obsessed with this I'm actually a little behind schedule so I'm gonna quickly have my breakfast get ready and leave we've got a long day today and I think I have like back-to-back -back lectures after my PBL till like one o'clock so this is probably gonna keep me full for a long while but good bon appetit mm. Okay, I'm ready. Clearly, I'm literally just about to run out the door now because I'm really behind schedule. Anyway, quick outfit of the day because I'm a hectic mess and I'm still going to do it anyway. We've just got on some shadows, jeans and like a brown, um, what is this called? I don't know, like a sweatshirt. A cute oversized bomber because it's full. Also my tote bag, have my bits and bobs. I'm probably just throwing some Uggs, but I really need to head out now. Let's go.
Yo bestie. I'm home from my first full day of uni. It's funny I was vlogging today out of all days because today was a very long day. <laughs> I won't lie. Thank God I made it in time for my class in the morning. I don't actually think I had time to actually talk to you guys today because everything was so back to back. I popped into the library really quick to kind of plan for the rest of my day what I need to get done today with a cute little planner that I showed last time. That's why I love carrying this with me. It's a fresh week. I got to do a weekly plan, a daily plan. I love it. We'll have the details down below i had two lectures back to back one was on cardiomyopathies and i think one was on something to do with valve diseases i think was it i think so i think so literally so glad i had that big fat bowl of nice porridge in the morning because i was starving by the time it was the end of my last lecture and i actually grabbed some lunch with some friends going to continue with some work that i have left to do and usually this is a time i will see if there's anything i need to finish up from today and then also see what i need to get done for tomorrow's lessons so tomorrow's tuesday and i think let me just Ta-da, my home screen. As you can see over here, this is my little calendar. And this has everything I need in terms of like my timetable. It tells me what I have each day. I love having it there. It's just easier to see. It's my Google Calendar, of course, of course. And tomorrow I have anatomy and physiology. So it's a later start. I start at 12 tomorrow. I know I need to get my anatomy e-learning done today, hopefully. I think I should do that now and what that is is before tomorrow's anatomy session it's just a recap and going over what it's going to be kind of about so that when i'm there i'm not like completely clueless and i actually kind of know what's going on because if i walk in without knowing anything then it's kind of a waste if that makes sense because i'm trying to like understand everything right then and there whereas when i actually kind of go over the content or like the material at least when i'm there i can look at the dissections or the prosections and kind of wrap my head around what I learned and like try and picture it in person and understand it that way. I hope that makes sense but that's what I'm gonna do today and yeah I think besides that I need to just see if I can write up my notes for today's lectures. Writing notes, I don't actually write notes anymore. I think I've mentioned before that I am not like the most confident in my note-taking methods. I find that writing up my notes just takes way too long and so instead I've literally just been doing questions so what I do is during the lecture I don't take that many notes if I'm in person listening to them. I rather just try and sit and actually like absorb the information and try and understand it whilst the professor or the lecturer is like explaining and then afterwards I try and like go through the recorded version in like 1.5 five times speed or something instead of like writing out notes i write out questions with the answer underneath if there's any like pictures in the slide that help with said question i also pop that in currently i'm doing on notion i am also going to hopefully try out anki i tried out once last year i wasn't the biggest fan but then again i think it is probably something you need to continue trying out and like get the hang of to like um i know a lot of my friends use anki i do however like quizlet it's just I've just stuck to having it on Notion because I feel like the layout of Notion is so much nicer because you can have it nice and organised. Whereas with Quizlet, it's nice to have flashcards for the questions. However, it's harder to kind of categorise each of your topics. And so I've just stuck to doing it on Notion. I like it. I think I'm going to probably stick to this kind of method for now. Last year was a mess. I was a little bit hither everywhere with my notes. Well, notes. Also realised that for microanatomy, so that's all the microscope stuff, I like to do it on my iPad rather than doing it on Notion and writing out questions. Because that way I can actually like have little images and then like annotate around them and circle little bits and bobs with like the pencil. It's easier to write notes like handwritten notes for microanatomy but it's literally impossible well for me anyway to handwrite notes for my lectures i hope you guys like that breakdown <laughs> and the sun is setting and my camera is also flashing so let's get on with some work <laughs> Thank you. 